In 1963, NASA launched its final manned mission during the Mercury program. On board the Atlas IX rocket known as Faith 7 was pilot astronaut Gordon Cooper. Project Mercury was the first human spaceflight program of the United States, running from 1958 through 1963. An early highlight of the space race, its goal was to put a man into Earth orbit and return him safely before the Russians. Cooper's cool-headed performance and piloting skills led to a basic rethinking of design philosophy for later space missions. While Cooper was stuffed into his tiny module for 32 hours during his orbit, he was tasked with a covert mission, the results of which have only recently come to light. He was given a cutting-edge piece of long-range magnetic detection technology, which was installed into a camera on board the Faith 7 spacecraft. His mission while on board was to capture images of the globe using this sensing technology to locate any possible secret nuclear development sites which could be considered a threat to America. During this procedure, Cooper became aware of an amazing capability which the camera possessed. Not only was it sensing possible hidden bases, but was also capturing anomalies deep in the oceans of Earth. Cooper deduced that these pings were actually all the shipwrecks which dot the ocean floors from throughout history which had been spotted by the machine due to the considerable amount of metals within the wrecks. It seems having the courage to go into space, and the intelligence and reflexes to survive the experience, will endow you with some very special rewards, in the most unlikely of forms. What this mission had given to Cooper was a treasure map of Earth, which no other person could possibly possess. Cooper dutifully recorded the geographical coordinates of the anomalies as was required of him, and when he returned to Earth, he also mapped them out on a sea chart which became known as the treasure map from space, by his lifelong friend, and renowned treasure hunter, Roger Milkos. Throughout the rest of his life, Cooper would secretly compile substantial research regarding historical shipwrecks that corresponded with the locations on the space map. Cooper had planned to organize expeditions to find the treasures, but unfortunately, before he could finish his work, he died in 2004 of heart failure. Passing his map and all accompanying research to Milkos on his deathbed, now Milkos has set about finding these shipwreck treasures in a new Discovery Channel series called Cooper's Treasure. He told the press, quote, We want to bring to light the new stories of the shipwrecks that have yet to be discovered, tell the story and share it with the world, and share it with the host countries that are allowing us to do the research. What we are trying to do is to open a dialogue about the past with these host countries. End quote. I will keep you posted on any substantial finds they make. Now I'd like to go on to the next graphic and let's linger on this one a moment because this is worth looking at. This is a very strange pair of images. These are two images. They were taken 12 days apart and this just happened. I mean, this is going on right now. This is where Opportunity is currently parked. And you can see 12 days apart, a rock just simply appeared. On January 8th, 2014, a strange Mars rock was spotted by Opportunity resting in a spot where earlier there was nothing but soil. The rock, which scientists now call Pinnacle Island, is in the shape of a donut, white on the outside, red in the middle. It appeared after Opportunity had just finished a short drive. It looks like a jelly donut, said Steve Squires, the rover's lead scientist at Cornell University in Ithaca, during a recent NASA event, marking Opportunity's 10th year on Mars. It appeared. It just plain appeared at that spot, and we haven't driven over that spot. Strangely, NASA has remained pretty silent in regards to the details of the find for the past few years, only recently coming forward to claim they had solved the mystery of its sudden appearance, claiming the rover had indeed disturbed the rock somehow. 
The Odd Rock is located in a spot on Murray Ridge, along the wall of Endeavor Crater where Opportunity spent the Martian winter. A closer look at the rock using Opportunity's robotic arm-mounted instruments has revealed, quote, it's like nothing we ever seen before. It's very high in sulfur, very high in magnesium. It has twice as much manganese than anything we've seen on Mars, said Squires with excitement during an event in January. I don't know what any of this means. We're completely confused, but we're having a wonderful time, he stated. Squires said rover scientists have two working theories on how the Pinnacle Island rock mysteriously appeared near Opportunity. One suggests that the rock is a piece of debris from a meteorite impact somewhere near the rover that just so happened to land in front of Opportunity. While the other theory is that the rock was somehow kicked up by one of rover's six wheels during its recent drive. This is regardless of Squires original comment regarding the rover not having previously traversing that particular area. Did something actually throw this very interesting and possibly extremely important rock in the rover's direction? We already have the rover's mysterious cleaning events, which have occurred on many occasions. With every strange event that occurs on Mars, the possibility of outside help from an intelligent entity becomes less absurd. Did an alien or possibly covert astronauts throw us a bone in the form of a stone? We may never know where the rock came from, but we should all be thankful the rover found it. Squires said the weird Mars rock is an example of how the red planet keeps surprising scientists even 10 years later. He finished by saying, quote, Mars keeps throwing new things at us. As always, thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care.